Hello Curious Minds, I'm Miles Maxer, and welcome back to the Ant Network. In this new series, we are going deep into the undergrowth to forge a new empire. That's right, we are playing Slug Disco's Empires of the Undergrowth. So I'm going to be playing this game, it's basically an ant colony simulator. Some of it takes place in a laboratory colony, and some of it takes place out in the wild and I'm super excited to be playing this game. I played it a few times a couple of years ago and then a little bit recently. Uh, just to use it as a primer, I actually created a Formicarium and played level 1.1, which is sort of like a tutorial. No, 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 no! No! Oh, Dr. No! Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. So in this first episode, we are going to go straight into level 1.2, and uh, we'll see what awaits us there. 1.2, subjugation. Let's get into it. I think medium is a reasonable difficulty for this playthrough. Uh, hopefully we don't have to change around too much. Our rewards, uh, that doesn't matter right now, so let's get into it. Okay. This Formica Fusca Black Ant Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica Sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the Black Ant Colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. So that's a little dark. Um, so we're up against slave-making ants. Um, Formica sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling. Oh boy, there is something even more sinister nearby. Even more sinister. The darkness. What? Okay. So I know that these uh, flashing exclamation marks tend to be uh, hostile insects of some sort, or at least arthropods. That, that doesn't seem to be... Oh boy. Okay, well, uh, let's get going. Our objectives, build and upgrade black ant workers. We, wow, we need 43. Okay, first things first, we need somewhere to put all of this food that we're getting. Uh, so let's maybe designate this chamber area for that purpose. If you're new to Empires of the Undergrowth, I will introduce some of the aspects of it. I am not an expert myself, but I'm not going to go through it like tutorial style. Uh, so you're welcome to look up videos that explain it in depth, but I figure you, can, you guys can learn along the way with me if you have never played it. Uh, I'm actually going to be taking this playthrough series uh, with the plan to emphasize my experience as an early career myrmacologist, which that's a fancy word for basically saying I'm an entomologist, which is someone who studies insects, but I study ants. So the specific study of ants is myrmacology. Um, not mermaids, but ants. And I'm really excited to bring my perspective as a myrmacologist to this game because I know there's been so much effort put in by the developers to create a game that more or less accurately reflects uh, the life of different ant species. So I'm, I'm pretty darn excited about that. We need space to expand. There's like a lot of stone that is blocking my expansion here. Um, so we need to get more workers. Let's just turn this into a worker chamber right here. So the ants are taking eggs from the queen. Remember, this is Formica fusca, which is actually a real ant species. Uh, and these ants, of course, were playing a game, but they look fairly realistic. I appreciate that. And here we have the workers eclosing. That's the fancy word for hatching out of their pupil cases uh, or cocoons. So now we have five additional workers. And I'm going to designate them to our number one pheromone marker. Why don't we try and make this a little bit larger and start expanding and getting food? Now, 
the exclamation. Oh my. A funnel web spider. What? She is large. No, no, no. And equipped with a deep, Run. powerful bite. Go away. Oh layer no. Is by sheets of silk woven between trip wires oh that no. Out from the entrance. <laughs> What's good? Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. No kidding. So we need to get some soldiers produced right away to take on that because I don't think our workers can can fight her effectively. Maybe they can in force. If we get if we just muster everything we have here and take the fight to her, we might be able to get through that. So it's a funnel web spider. She's just like hanging out in that burrow. Yep, um we'll build up our force here pretty quickly and then go in cuz I, I kind of suspect that that's what we're going to deal with all across this uh, this map here, given the way that this these chambers are kind of like structured. I don't see us able to get to food without dealing with the spider. Maybe back in here. Um, let's try that. Let's see if we can get back to these guys. Hopefully they're friendly. Don't always know with the uh, the question marks, but... We'll get in there and, and see what we can do. We are going to need a lot of workers and soldiers to successfully complete this mission. Food stores are full. Well, we can upgrade. Oops. We can upgrade those food stores rather than expand them significantly. Somebody upgrade those, please. Yeah, so like I said before, I'm fairly new to Empires of the Undergrowth. I'm excited to be playing it. I know some of our fans on the Ant Network have played Empires of the Undergrowth. So if you have and you have any tips for me, you are more than welcome to leave them in the comments. But please try to avoid any like spoilers about future levels. I don't even know uh, any really... Uh, anything about the game other than there is a leaf cutter ant uh, mission or set of missions. So I'm really excited about that. And that's with Ada. Uh, but honestly, I am not, not well versed in the game as it is now. I had the opportunity to consult with the developers years and years ago when they were first designing it. And it was really fun talking to them about kind of their vision for the game. But I have not played it in a long time. We're having a difficult time taking her, but it looks like her health bar is actually going down as she runs runs through our workers. Oh. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Awesome. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Well, let's get some space in here because we're going to need this space for our legion of workers, I think. And let's spend some of the food that we have. So we'll complete that group. We could even, well, and do it like this so I can give them separate orders. A sanguineous scout has sensed the presence of the black ants. Uh oh. A whoa, 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 whoa. Is now inevitable. Okay. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young or wipe out the colony entirely. All right. Well, In we. The end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we just got raided. So looks like it ran off with one of our pupae. Um, I think maybe it was a mistake to put these nesting spots up there where they're vulnerable. Um, but I tell you what, we need to get some soldiers out quickly and that's near the queen so i think it, it's worth it to expand this here but in the future we're going to want to build our soldier nesting areas deeper in the colony so they can't come in and steal our pupae but we just need to get our numbers up and i'm actually going to deploy the soldiers to just like hang out at this entrance to hopefully be able to repel incoming attacks i don't know when that attack might come there's like no there's no timer or any warning that i'm seeing here
One thing I find kind of entertaining about Empires of the Undergrowth is how quickly the brood develops. So they'll, they'll run an egg from the queen over to the nesting chamber. There's one right here. And it will develop incredibly quickly. Uh, and then they'll turn into larvae and pupate. And then you'll have an adult worker ant pop out in like 30 seconds. Of course, in the wild, it can take anywhere from two weeks to like two months for an ant to complete that development from egg uh, to a newly enclosed worker. But of course, we don't have that kind of time when we're playing a, a game like this. So it's understandable uh, that they've designed it that way. But I do find it a little bit entertaining when uh, that brew is just developing so rapidly. OK, let's see if we can't secure some more food because we are definitely going to need it because we. Oh, next raid is in 10 minutes or 10 seconds. OK, pull all our forces to the front. And let's see what happens here. I didn't even see the countdown. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Wow, they are big. No, 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 no. Uh, well, they haven't been stopped, I'm sorry to say. That was, uh... That was an abject failure of security. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. Okay. The Fusca colony Whoa. must replenish quickly if they are to Now we have predators down assault. here. Oh my. Oh, we're making short work of them, so that's good. These uh these beetle larvae don't stand a chance against our force here, but the uh the sanguinea workers definitely they they took a lot of brood it looks like. I guess they only took two, so that's okay, but that uh not cool. Not cool. We need much better security than we have right now. At least we have access to a lot more food, though. A lot of food here. So that's good. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Because they won't be raiding anytime soon. I'm going to send our whole force, take out this spider. And then we have, like, free access to all of this food here. All right. Come on. She's like a one-shot, one-kill kind of kind of thing. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, we got her. Predators are loose in the nest. What do you mean? The larvae must be protected. Oh, it's just this, just a spider, though. All right, let's go. Let's go get her too. And then we're gonna. Get a lot more space in here to use. Next raid. Well, okay. Pull our forces back. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Prepare. This is not good. <laughs> Get him, get him. What are you doing? Slave makers are back. Oh, they can no. sense larvae, and they want their Oh, we got this one down. Reinforce. I think we might not lose any. The raiding party was no match for the Nice. <laughs> the brood remains safe for now. That was a tenuous situation there, but we pulled it off. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade. Oh, there's no more upgrades available for that. Well, fine. So one of the new mechanics in Empires of the Undergrowth that I had not experienced before is this, like, speed-up tile system, where there's, like, it's like a highway, I guess, for the ants to walk on. It makes them go faster, so it improves the, uh, like, response time for the ants to get to different locations. I'm really hoping it doesn't improve that time for the invading ants, but I don't think it will. But it's that's an interesting mechanic. I'm not used to that. Uh, it certainly wasn't present when I first played Empires of the Undergrowth. Okay, we have a lot of food, so let's get another legion of soldiers to help us defend our colony. And we're going to send 
this party back. We'll move our soldier units up to the front so that they can uh, protect us if they, they pull another crafty raid. I am not noticing that little raid timer that pops up, so I need to pay better attention to that. All right, look at all that activity. That's awesome. Build another um, little highway here. Next raid is coming. Let's reinforce, because we don't have quite enough soldiers, I don't think. Alright, let's see what happens. T minus 10 seconds. And we have our queen's little group of workers down here. Whoa, whoa. The okay. Makers are back. They can sense larvae. This did not go as well. Go get him. No, no, no. Okay. We intercepted all but one, I'm pretty sure. Where is it? Oh, two. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. <sighs> That's brutal. The danger may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Oh my. I think in this case we need to work on improving the numbers of soldiers and workers that we have versus upgrading them. Because if we look at the objectives, we need to produce a lot more ants than we have in this colony right now. Oh, isopods! Otherwise known as wood lice or uh, roly polies. Looks like they're just kind of hiding from the ants, but not they don't fight back. So that's that's good. Yep, grab that food. Um, looks like our workers are running in between here, so we're actually going to make that a, a speed-up zone. We want to make sure that the workers that attend the queen and distribute the eggs can very quickly get between the nesting sites to deliver the brood and get that developing. I'm going to go ahead and up, or increase the number of workers we have in this uh, in this group down here. got another raid coming up so I'm actually gonna reallocate so half of them come up to this top spot and the other half come over here I don't know if that might help with where our workers and soldiers are positioned when the enemy comes in but I think it's worth a shot anyway okay we're moving up Of course, this is accurate. There, is no from the there are the slave-making ants in real life. Uh, this is all based on on uh, kind of actual science. Now, there's a lot of discussion right now in the, the academic community about rethinking the, the naming ant. behind slave-making ants. Those discussions are ongoing. I'm, I haven't really kind of come down on the naming convention that I'll probably end up using. So we're going to use slave making ants in this playthrough, but I kind of want to acknowledge that that is not the best. Um, it's not the best way to describe what's going on here. And in the future, I might discuss that in, in, in another episode. If there's more slave making in this game, I might discuss that. Um, but for now, I just want to acknowledge that's not ideal, but, uh, I guess myrmecologists are, are often having discussions about this exact topic and, and ways that we might be able to improve the way we talk about that in the future. So let's go ahead and move down here, take out this spider, get the food. We're going to need the food if we're going to survive loose in the nest. all of the onslaughts. The must be protected. Okay, well, why don't we take out the spider before we get the food? 
Ja. We're not not doing a lot of damage here. I guess uh, slow and steady will win. Will win this race. <laughs> I love how the insects, like, scream when they die. Uh, insects do actually make a lot of sounds, or I suppose a spider, uh, so not an insect, but arthropods in general do make sounds, but they don't use their mouths in the same way that we do. It's not as though they're screaming verbally, uh, but they do make sounds. Oh, we need to allocate these soldiers up to the front lines and prepare, because we have another raid coming in in about 10 seconds. Our food stores are full, so I think that we are as ready as we're going to be uh, to withstand this attack. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae. No they kidding. Share. They're just overwhelming our defenses here. Wow. Oh. We killed most of them. Here's this one. Go get her. No. Okay. Wow, oh, there's another one. <sighs> That's not ideal, but it, I mean, taking a couple of pupae is not a huge deal, but it's not ideal. That's for sure. It is only a matter of time before they return. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get more soldiers then. The only reason I'm separating these nest blocks this way is just because it allows me to kind of apportion the soldiers to different groups if I need to split them up. But otherwise, you could have just a gigantic soldier tile, and maybe we'll do that with this corner. It does seem to me that we need more food storage at some point here. Maybe back in here is a good place to put food. Oh, the nest. oh no. Okay, well we'll send uh, an attack force down there. We'll keep we'll keep uh, pheromone marker two in that unit up here at the front. It's just two beetle larvae though, so it's no that's not a big deal for us to take on. We can take that out, I guess. No problem. Next raid. Okay, we got to move back up here. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Eventually, I have to imagine they're going to go ahead and try and attack the queen. We really need to make sure we're prepared for that. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Battalion. They don't fight back at all. Looks like we staved off most of that assault. We only lost, what, three, four? Oh, there's, there goes one. Take her out. Come on. Nice. And that pupa just comes right back. Okay. Um, the raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The danger may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Got another spider down and the food that comes with it, which is awesome. <sighs> Let's see. Um, we still need to get a larger military force. I might turn this all into uh, a soldier uh, area. Let's see. 
really need to have somewhere to put more food. I guess we can keep improving these these tiles until we really don't have enough space. Yeah, that increased our capacity quite a bit. And let's see, we should put that with... There we go. Um, we'll put that with, with green and move them back up here because we've got another raid incoming. This game is a little fast paced for being on like normal or medium guilt uh, difficulty, but that's good. We like a challenge. We definitely like a challenge. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Oh my, there's a lot of them coming in. But we're killing quite a few of them too as they're making their way out. Get these ones. <sighs> oh, okay. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant brood. I don't know if that's accurate. I think the they only took like one of them. To the colony to its former strength. Yes. We are very low on food right now, which is not great. Um, hmm. We have quite a bit of food coming back this way, though. Oh, we need to take that spider out first. So we'll leave this security force right here. Maybe we'll move the workers into this group and, and turn green into just a pure soldier class. Nice, got that spider down and all the resources that come with that. And we'll send in our foraging party, go grab the rest of the food. I think we're on track here. We need 15 more soldiers. Well, that seems doable. Soldiers are expensive, though. 50 food for one. But I suppose, I suppose they're worth it. Let's head in here. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, we're gonna take her out pretty quickly, looks like. Next raid's coming up. Let's get our team back up there. A lot of ants not, not up front. Maybe I should switch green over to that side and colony seeks or not. Once again to bolster its numbers. A Ooh, nice. Slave makers charge into the nest. We've been able to keep most of them out, though. That was pretty good. Let's see. Oops. Uh, if I hit alt, I can see their health bars. No, 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 stop her. Okay. Good, we lost two pupae. I think that's acceptable. Is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. I mean... It is only a matter of time before they return. Yeah. That hit pretty hard there, though. Okay, foraging party, let's keep moving. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, that spider has a, a long, long web here. We need to get in there and take her out. No, don't run away with all the food. Okay, we have some soldiers present. Oop. Wow. She makes short work of our guys.
need to make sure I'm watching for the next raid timer, because uh, it, it makes no sound when that pops up. It's just like, surprise! Okay. Oh, we, we are maxed out on food capacity. Well, we need eight more soldiers. I don't think we have enough food to afford eight more. But we can definitely get close. Oh, another raid coming. Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Yeah, not if we have anything to say about it, though. We're doing a good job of intercepting them. So, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. There's a... Okay, well... <laughs> Got a little too cocky there, I guess. Although we, we did intercept quite a few of them, but that... Those were more losses than I thought we were going to take there. Oh, we only need... Party is left. We need to upgrade... 10% of the Black Ant Brood. Upgrade some more soldiers. The may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Oh. Well, that's nice. That's really lovely. <laughs> um, let's see. We are kind of desperate for more food again. It's like the story of the whole game so far. But there's still quite a bit of food available down here. Though well, not... Not a ton. I think it's it'll be enough, though. Grab all of the food. these guys and then we need to decide where to put more workers we need 23 more workers okay We'll do the speed tracks or whatever, the highway. Oh, another raid coming in. We got time, though. We're doing all right. Hopefully it's not like the final wave, or at least maybe they'll they'll tell us when the final wave is, is incoming. I'm hopeful <laughs> that they'll do that anyway. We don't have... A lot of food for like reinforcements, but they don't seem to be attacking our workers. Oh, this is like totally undefended over here. Oh, they're reallocating though. That's good. No, 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 no. What are you doing? The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Yikes. I don't think we lost any. The party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. Good. Although we have absolutely no food at all. Nothing. There are intruders in the nest. These are like, what, beetle larvae? Or maggot? Nah, they're be they must be beetle larvae of some sort. Um, we could probably build another food store over here.
Nobody's going to build the last two, I guess. Alrighty then. That's weird. Alright, thank you. We have enough food to to significantly increase that, that group of workers, I think. Um, we'll do that back here. Next raid is incoming, so once we get this all built up, I guess we can send our our foraging team slash defenders back up. We have plenty of food left to uh, sustain this raid. Oh, and I need to allocate this to one. Oh yeah, we've got a great defensive force here now. There is no respite from the Cullen. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. Okay. Empires of the Undergrowth definitely takes on a darker tone than a lot of games like this, but uh, I kind of enjoy enjoy the approach that they've taken here. I'm not enjoying my defensive team's approach. Well, we only lost one. I should... Uh, yeah, we only lost one, so I should take that back, but... Because they're ants, like, it, one thing that's cool about Empires of the Undergrowth is that the ants are not going to perfectly follow your orders, right? If you put down uh, a pheromone trail somewhere and tell the ants to go somewhere, they'll eventually get there, but they're not all just going to immediately respond like they received orders, uh, which is definitely reflective of how ant colonies actually operate. Uh, there is nobody in charge. It's it's a, a form of democracy, I guess, if you will. Um in terms of how they decide where they're going to go, what they're going to do, are they going to move nests or not, etc. Uh, that's all decided kind of democratically uh, as the ant colony. We'll go take this spider out. We only have to upgrade a few more workers. I'm kind of nervous about upgrading the workers because I don't know if that'll bring on like the uh, the end of the mission, but we're just going to do it. And let's go take out this, this spider too. Another raid coming. And we have enough food to upgrade some soldiers, actually. Oh, our soldiers actually get bigger when they get upgraded? Okay, that's cool. From the huh. The will subjugate or exterminate. I did not know that. They are fast. Now, Formica really are very fast uh, as a genus of ants. If, if you disturb a nest of Formica like I do out in, out in the field sometimes, uh, they are incredibly fast runners, and they actually use something called Formic Acid. Uh, as part of their defensive strategy, and formic acid is just kind of this noxious substance. Once again, Whoa! The slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae. To I think we beat it. Own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great black ant empire. Epic. Choose a reward for your formicarium. Um, I'm going to go with extra royal jelly, because I hear that that's how we like upgrade our formicarium colony. And I'm going to take you over to that formicarium colony, because we haven't showed it to you yet. Um, but that's actually part of the theming of this game, is that there's this weird like laboratory-bred artificial ant species. 
and our like the levels that we do help us level up this colony the colony is beginning to adapt okay well we have basically nothing right now so let us expand a little bit we have to be careful with the expansion because we only have so many uh like expansion points or whatever but we need some space there is no space for us to do anything right now um and then up here i think we can create a chamber for food that should be that should be sufficient now, right here, we'll build some nesting tiles for our workers. Gosh, okay, that's all we can do. They cleared this out. Go get those workers made, and hopefully we can grab this food and actually exit the nest and see what's going on out there. Uh, the queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. Yeah, I don't know about these scientists. I don't, you know, <laughs> say what you will about entomologists. I don't know that we are quite as diabolical as uh, as these guys seem to be. All right. So we've got a tiny little worker force of three. We'll send them to grab this food. And then we'll open up the nest. And honestly, I don't know what's on the other side of this. But it, it'll be interesting to see. I assume that that goes to, like, some sort of outworld or feeding arena or something. Because there's no food present down here at all. Yeah, and we're... Oh, the food stores are full. I was going to say we're out of food, but actually we... Oh, <laughs> that was silly. I didn't even... I never actually built the, the food store here. My bad. All right, we'll send our little workers up here. They can, they'll take the, oh, they didn't take the food. We did so well in that last mission, I come back here in the formicarium and nothing's working. Um, now, if you are new to ant keeping or new to the ant network, you might not know the term formicarium. And that is actually the formal term for essentially an artificial ant nest. So something that we are keeping ants and like a colony of ants alive in captivity uh, with, within that, or that, that kind of assembly, is called a formicarium. Food stores are full, can't collect any more food. Awesome. That is a good problem for us to have right now. So we'll expand those, but then we can upgrade them if we continue to need more space. And I think we will. So we'll upgrade those. Do we have extra food left over? Looks like we do. We can get some more workers, and then I want to excavate this. Okay, I guess I was right. There is an outworld with, wow, a ton of food resources here. Wait a sec. Oh, check this out. Okay, so there are connectors, like what we use. And a pin with point... Oh, wow. Okay. This is a game after my own heart, I mean, to be honest with you guys. So we are within a... Uh, what we call an outworld or an arena. Pretty nicely decorated, too. Um, well, let's send our workers to go grab some seeds, then. Uh, and, and start building this little formicarium empire. Okay, well, while they're doing that, I'm going to say let's close out this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed our first playthrough of Empires of the Undergrowth. We're going to continue to take a myrmecologist perspective to this game. So as we progress through the levels and experience new insects and new ant species, I'm super excited uh, to be talking about those, to talk about the scientific accuracy of Empires of the Undergrowth, and just have a lot of fun playing through it. So, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to leave us a comment if you have any questions, ideas for me, or if you have tips about Empires of the Undergrowth.
Thanks, everybody. Stay safe.